good evening welcome to current affairs today is october 17th 2015 so let's look at into the latest issues that are happening in and around india so let me open the document straight away and let me show you the document have a look at this the first point what i have today is the ins astra dharani what is this this is a tlrv please remember in the examination they may ask you what is tlrv you can have a look at in the bracket it stands for torpedo launch and recovery vessel this is india's first totally indigenously designed and built warship and very recently it has been commissioned in visakhapatnam so visakhapatnam is one of the important cities in andhra pradesh but see here for the examination point of view they may ask you what is ins astra dharani you know this it is a tlrv in the examination they may also ask you what is a tlrv and you can see it on the screen very clearly it stands for a torpedo launch and recovery vessel and the importance of this is the this is india's first totally indigenously designed and built warship is it okay so there is a point number 1 next so we have a another one very very important look at this so we have a sweet banana with the orange pulp what is this so this is something related to andaman and goa islands the scientist in of the botanical survey of india that is bsi this is located in kolkata they have discovered a new species of banana from a remote tropical rainforest in the little andaman islands now see here i am talking to you regarding sweet banana with orange pulp and it has been discovered by the scientist of botanical survey of india and where is it this is seen in the little andaman islands for the reason i am just trying to show you the andaman and nicobar islands map but see here on the right hand side you can see this is the banana the size is big than the normal banana i'll show you some more points with respect to this but before that one i would like you to understand the map here look at this andaman and nicobar islands is one of the union territories in india this is located in indian ocean and now whatever we are talking about this banana this new variety of banana so that was discovered here this is in little andaman can you see very clearly this little andaman is separated from the so called the rest of the andaman islands but otherwise you need to remember you can see on the screen this is the north andaman after that you have the middle andaman lower andaman then you will see the little andaman is it okay so on the left hand at side you can see bay of bengal and the sea that is present here is called andaman sea is it okay and the rest of the area is called nicobar islands and you need to remember this map please is it okay and uh, with respect to little andaman this is there in the news because of this banana look at this i tell you some more points i will look at this the name of the species is musa ind andamanensis musa ind andamanensis is the name of the species the tropical rainforest experiences high average temperatures and a significant rainfall and in this particular area this a new variety of banana has been found and this is the name of the species so look at this one important point with respect to andaman and nicobar islands is that so there is a tribe called jarwa tribes this is jarwa is one of the tribes that is present in andaman and nicobar and of course in the year 2012 that the, the strength of uh, jarwa tribes is very very low 
But even then, in the year 2012, it, it became uh, one important news in India. And unfortunately, this uh, Andam, this uh, Jarawa woman, it's a tribe. This tribal woman were exploited, were exploited by the foreign tourists. During that time, the Supreme Court of India has given the directions to the central government to provide security to the Jarwa tribes. <coughs> Sorry. Security to the Jarwa tribes. So in the form meaning, they, the area where the Jarwa tribes are living, that should be declared as a protected area. Meaning others are not permitted to enter into that area. So this is with respect to the so-called the Jarwa tribes. And in one of the examinations I have seen, they, have, they asked in the examination, Jarwa tribes are located in, answer is Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Am I clear? Point number one. Number two, apart from this, we also have some other tribes that are living in Andaman and Nicobar. So let me open the document and show you who are those people. Look at this. <clears throat> Ong, Great Andamanis, Sentinelis, Shopmen, etc. are the other tribal groups, GRO, UPS groups in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Okay, next. So we have some information with respect to sugar cane. Let's see what exactly is this. Look at this. This year, the sugar production in India is going to be reduced because of the scanty rainfall. See, one, if you have read this uh, geography, there you can understand that one of the important crops in India is sugar cane, where regular supply of irrigation has to be there for sugar cane. And we have seen in the year 2015, the rainfall is scanty, that's the reason why the sugar production is also going to be reduced. Is that okay? But otherwise, we have one general knowledge question. This is the Brazil is the largest producer of the sugar in the world. And India is the second largest producer of sugar in the world. Is that okay? Next. With respect to pollution in Delhi, so I was touching this point in the previous class also. Look at this. The Supreme Court has imposed pollution surcharge of rupees 700 and 1300 for light and heavy commercial vehicles that are entering in Delhi. See here, one of the pictures I have downloaded and you can see on the screen. Look at the levels of the pollution. Of course, the concept of pollution is a cause of worry in entire world. And with respect to New Delhi, it's a more serious cause of worry. This is because, because the Delhi is considered to be the highly polluted city in the world. Very, very unfortunate. That's the reason why the Supreme Court has entered into the scene. And, 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 and the, the reason, the main reason for high pollution in New Delhi is that, apart from other things, the vehicle pollution. Lots of vehicles are present. Lots of vehicles are present in at New Delhi and they are emitting lots of pollution. Apart from this, this light and heavy commercial vehicles are also added to the pollution. That's the reason why Supreme Court took the decision and the directions have been given to the government where if these vehicles are entering into Delhi, they must be imposed. They must pay surcharge 700 rupees and 1300 rupees respectively. Am I clear? Next. See, this is the levels of pollution. Look at the picture, please. I'm going further. You must have heard this name. Next is the Khushit Kasuri. This person is the former foreign minister of Pakistan. Very recently, he was there in India and he wrote a book and he launched his book in Mumbai on October 12th. 
the name of the book important for any examination the name of the book is neither a hack nor a doubt an insider account of pakistan's foreign policy in any examination they may ask you who is the author of this book answer is the khushit kasuri okay next i am going further so when it comes to the supreme court already i was telling you some time back with respect to aadhaar the government has collected so much of information from the people including the iris and including our fingerprints and when it comes to the question of revealing somebody's personal information whether this personal information should be considered as a right under the right to privacy or not that is being questioned by the supreme court now for the reason a constitutional bench has been established these points i told you in the previous class but otherwise the government has collected so much of information from the people for issuing the aadhaar we don't have any objection with respect to aadhaar but revealing this information to other agencies how far it is acceptable and this question is presently there in before the honorable supreme court clear but the supreme court has permitted that aadhaar information can be used for four schemes this is what is permitted by the supreme court and what are these four schemes one is the mahatma gandhi national or rural employment guarantee okay second what is the prime ministers or pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana and the third and fourth schemes are the schemes that are related to the pensions and also the provident fund all these are considered to be the four schemes for which the supreme court has allowed the use of aadhaar right so kindly remember this next so i have some information with respect to another missile that is nirbhay have a look at the picture please so this is the nirbhay so this is one of the missiles that india excuse me so this is one of the missiles that india testified for the first time in the year 2013 and the 2013 test was a failure again it was tested in the year 2014 and it was considered to be a partial success again it has been testified in october 2015 and again this time it's a failure of course it is unfortunate but otherwise it is considered to be one of the stealth missiles for india hopefully the mistakes will be rectified and yesterday when it has been testified so it has lost the direction and it was going in a different direction that was the reason why it was forcefully pulled down by the concerned authorities but otherwise they may ask you in the examination what is nirbhay is it okay so kindly look at the screen screen i'll show you, i'll tell you what exactly is this look at this this is a subsonic cruise missile with the stealth capabilities first time testified in 2013 it was a failure second test 2014 partial success third time yesterday october 16 and this time also it was a failure hopefully next time it should be a success for india and from where it was launched as usual this was launched from the integrated test range at chandipur in odisha is it clear and that's all the current affairs for today and i'll meet you in the next class with some more informations so thank you so much for being with me this evening and i wish you all the very very best and good night thank you